Imagine standing on a shoreline where the air is so crisp it seems to crackle, each breath a visible plume against a vast silent landscape. This is the edge of Siberia, a realm of profound solitude and untamed beauty. Here, time itself feels different, measured not in minutes but in the slow patient rhythm of the seasons. In this immense territory a land of extremes lies its spiritual heart, a body of water so grand it defies simple description. Before you lies a vast expanse of water, so clear that you can count the pebbles lying dozens of meters below the surface. This extraordinary transparency is the work of a tiny crustacean, the Baikal Epichura, a species found nowhere else on Earth. These tireless filter feeders purify the lake's entire upper layer several times a year. This clarity reveals the true scale of the abyss. Holding 20% of the world's unfrozen fresh water, Baikal is the planet's deepest lake, plunging over 1,600 meters. It contains more water than all of North America's Great Lakes combined. This is Lake Baikal. It is a world of its own, nestled deep within the heart of Siberia, but it is also a world apart in time. At an estimated 25 million years old, it is the most ancient lake on our planet. It was born from a continental rift valley that continues to widen by about 2 centimeters every year. This constant geological activity has shaped its dramatic underwater topography and created a unique isolated ecosystem, a Galapagos of Russia, where thousands of species have evolved in isolation, many of them found nowhere else. But it is in winter that Baikal truly transforms into a realm of fantasy. As temperatures plummet, the surface freezes into a sheet of ice over a meter thick, so transparent it feels like walking on air. This is no ordinary ice. Thermal stresses cause massive shards to be thrust upwards, creating fields of turquoise-hued ice hummocks that glitter in the low winter sun. And then, there is the sound. A deep, resonant booming that echoes across the frozen expanse as the ice cracks and shifts, the powerful otherworldly music of the lake. The local Buryat people consider the lake to be sacred, a powerful spirit they call Baikal Dalai, the sacred sea. In their shamanistic traditions, Baikal is not merely a geographical feature, but a living, breathing deity. Places like Olkhan Island and its famous Shaman Rock are considered potent spiritual centers. Here, offerings are made and prayers are whispered on the wind carried by colorful flags tied to sacred trees. This deep spiritual reverence has fostered a centuries-old tradition of respect, a recognition that the health of the people is linked to the well-being of the sacred sea. In the heart of Siberia lies a body of water so immense, so ancient, and so unique that it defies simple description. Lake Baikal is truly a lake of superlatives, holding a collection of world records that set it apart from any other freshwater body on Earth. These are not merely entries in a record book. They are fundamental characteristics that make Baikal a geological marvel and a cradle of evolution. Its most staggering record is its sheer volume. Baikal contains an astonishing 20% of all the fresh, unfrozen surface water on our planet. To put that into perspective, this single lake holds more water than all of North America's Great Lakes combined. This immense reservoir is contained within a basin so vast that if all the world's rivers were diverted to fill it, the task would take an entire year. And this water is legendary for its purity. The clarity is so exceptional that in certain seasons, one can see stones and objects more than 40 meters or 130 feet below the surface. This incredible transparency is maintained by a tiny endemic crustacean, the Baikal Episcura, millions of which act as a tireless living filter, consuming algae and bacteria. This colossal volume is possible because of Baikal's second world record, its depth. It is, by a significant margin, the deepest lake in the world. At its deepest point, it plunges to an incredible 1,642 meters or just over one mile straight down. This abyss was carved not by glaciers but by the slow, inexorable tearing apart of the Earth's crust. Baikal sits in an active continental rift zone, a tectonic wound that continues to widen by about 2 centimeters each year. Down in these crushing depths where sunlight has never reached, the pressure is immense, and the water remains perpetually near freezing, creating an extreme environment that has fostered life forms found nowhere else. Finally, there is the matter of its age. While most of the world's lakes are geological infants, mere tens of thousands of years old, geologists estimate Baikal's age to be between 25 and 30 million years old, making it the most ancient lake on Earth. This unparalleled longevity, combined with its profound isolation, 
has allowed evolution to follow a unique and uninterrupted path. For millions of years life within Baikal has adapted and diversified, turning the lake into a natural laboratory, often called the Galapagos of Russia. This ancient heritage is why over 80% of its more than 2,500 animal species are endemic, meaning they are found nowhere else on the planet. The story of Lake Baikal's creation is a dramatic geological tale. Instead, Baikal is a rift lake. This is a place where the continental plate that makes up Asia is slowly, but inexorably, pulling apart. Some geologists believe that the Baikal Rift is an embryonic ocean. Siberia could be split apart, and a new sea would be born. One of Lake Baikal's most enchanting residents is the Baikal seal, or Nerpa. It is a true seal, yet it lives exclusively in fresh water. Using the strong claws on their front flippers, they maintain breathing holes in the ice throughout the long winter. The pups are born with a coat of fluffy white fur, providing camouflage against the harsh Siberian cold. Deep within the cold, dark waters swims a fish unlike any other on Earth. It is called the Golomyanka, and its body is translucent, almost transparent. This high-fat content makes the fish buoyant, allowing it to live throughout the entire water column. Unlike most fish, which lay eggs, the Golomyanka gives birth to live young. A single female can produce two to three thousand tiny larvae. Below the surface, the lake floor is home to vast underwater forests and gardens of freshwater sponges. They are tireless filter feeders, constantly drawing water through their porous bodies, contributing significantly to the lake's legendary clarity. Within these sponge forests, over 350 species of amphipods scuttle among the branches, almost all found nowhere else on Earth. A place as ancient as Lake Baikal is naturally steeped in myth and legend. Shaman Rock is considered the home of a powerful deity. Strange phenomena like enormous perfectly formed dark circles on the winter ice have given rise to fantastic tales. But this pristine sanctuary is deceptively fragile. Despite its immense size and remote location, Lake Baikal is facing a confluence of modern threats that endanger its very essence. For decades the legacy of industrial pollution, most notoriously from a massive paper and pulp mill on its southern shore, leached toxic dioxins into its waters. Today, new dangers have emerged. Agricultural runoff from surrounding farms feeds vast, unnatural blooms of Sparogyra algae, choking the shoreline and disrupting the delicate ecosystem. Microplastics, the insidious confetti of our disposable world, now contaminate even these remote waters. Looming over all of this is the specter of climate change. Baikal's winters are growing shorter, its legendary ice cover thinning and receding, this is a catastrophe for endemic species like the Baikal seal, or nerpa, which depends entirely on stable ice caves to give birth and raise its pups. Unregulated tourism development also scars the landscape, straining resources and threatening the very wildness that draws people here. This precious world is in peril, standing at a critical crossroads between preservation and irreversible loss. Yet in the face of these challenges, there is a powerful current of hope. The story of the Baikal paper and pulp mill is a testament to the power of collective action. After years of relentless campaigning by scientists, activists and ordinary citizens who refused to stay silent, the mill was finally closed in 2013. This landmark victory proved that positive change is not just possible, but achievable when people unite to speak for nature. Today the fight continues. Dedicated teams of researchers constantly monitor the lake's health, providing the critical data needed to inform conservation policy. Its designation as a UNESCO World Heritage Site provides a layer of international protection, focusing global attention on its plight. Grassroots movements organize massive volunteer efforts to clean the shores, removing tons of waste each year, demonstrating a profound hands-on commitment to healing the lake. Lake Baikal is so much more than a body of water, it is a planetary treasure, Holding one-fifth of the world's unfrozen freshwater, its volume is legendary, but its true value lies in its unparalleled purity and unique life. It is a living museum of evolution, a natural laboratory that has been isolated for 25 million years. Here, life has charted its own extraordinary course, giving rise to over 2,000 species found nowhere else on Earth. From the ghostly translucent Golomyanka fish that dissolves into a pool of oil when it dies, to the countless species of tiny gamorous crustaceans that act as a tireless biological filtration system, keeping the water crystal clear. For the indigenous Buryat people, Baikal is not a resource, but a living, breathing deity, the sacred sea. 
Their shamanistic traditions are deeply interwoven with the lake, its islands like Olkhan considered powerful spiritual centers, places where the human world touches the divine. The fate of Lake Baikal is therefore a reflection of our own. Its challenges mirror the global environmental crisis and its preservation is a test of our collective will. Safeguarding this sacred Siberian sea requires more than just admiration, it demands a conscious, global partnership. It means supporting the science that guides us, championing policies that protect, fostering a tourism that respects, and honoring the ancestral wisdom of the communities who have been its guardians for centuries. By working together, we affirm our commitment not just to Baikal, but to all the wild places that nourish and inspire the human spirit. The soul of Siberia, ancient and profound, is calling on us to be its defenders. For the sake of our planet and for generations yet to come, we must answer.